I'll be with you in a minute, Bob. There. I certainly hope we don't have any more claims for a while. I suppose the company feels the same way. But I don't know what you're worrying about. We're fixing up your trucks for you. They're still rolling. Yeah, but I can't get any drivers. Oh, there are plenty of men out of work who jump at the chance. It takes a lot of experience to handle those trucks there. And since all these accidents have been happening, why, the best men are staying away. Bob here is the only good driver I've got left. Yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Pop. I'm quitting. What do you mean? Well, you've been with me ever since I started this line for 10 years. You can't quit. My mind's made up. There are too many accidents on this line. I got a wife and kids. Maybe you've been working Bob too hard. Why don't you give him a couple of days off to uh, think it over? I can't do that. Why, that truck's got to get out of here within an hour. Yeah, well, somebody else will have to take it out. Not me. See what I'm up against? Truck driver's wanted. Yeah. Here's one that sounds like a fair deal. Good pay and steady work. Wait, wait. Did I hear somebody say wait? Yeah, look, here it is. Truck driver's wanted. Good pay and steady work. Now, that part about good pay is fine. But what about the steady work part? Well, what about it? Why, ain't it liable to be a drain on the system? Oh, Jeff, how do you ever expect to get ahead if you don't work steady? I don't know. Sure is a problem. Yeah? Well, you start thinking your stomach a little bit, there won't be such a problem. I suppose a man's stomach been out of work as long as mine is. Can't be too choosy. That's the way to talk. Now, come on, let's go. Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Frankie. We don't have to be so ambitious about it, does we? Can't we just sit down here and think over it a little? Oh, uh, Jeff, you're the laziest man I ever saw. Oh, Mr. Frank, I ain't lazy. I was just relaxing. to. Dead on your feet, you mean. Now, come on. Oh, wait a minute, Mr. Frankie. I'm coming, but don't be so hasty, Larry. We got to get down there and land that job before somebody beats us to it. Yeah, now you stop stalling and come on. Wait, that man always looking for work. It sure is depression. Yes, hurry up. Oh, I'm coming, Mr. Frankie. But I don't have to get so enthusiastic about it, does it? Good gracious of me. Mm, mm, mm. You sure must like being dirty. You can't do this kind of work without getting dirty. Have you ever tried? Oh, if you're not a sight, just look at you. There's more grease on you than there is in the crankcase. You know, really, Chip, you're not a bad-looking boy when your face is washed. Nancy, will you quit it? I'm busy. Busy doing what? Cleaning spark plugs. Day after day, put them in, take them out. Did it ever occur to you that you might wear them out? Who's that rent? You're in a rut. You know that, don't you? You needed someone to look after you. What I need is a rent. Oh, thanks. You know, Chick, all the trouble we've been having lately, Pop's going to need someone to help him. Now, if you were ambitious... Look, Pat, all I want to be is a good mechanic. A mechanic? What'll that ever get you? Plenty. Henry Ford was a mechanic, wasn't he? Look what it got him. And he did it alone. Oh, I don't know. The facts were known. I bet there was someone behind him spurring him on. All great men had someone to spur him on. That's a lot of hooey. Is that so? Well, what about Napoleon? He had Josephine, didn't he? Aristotle had Dan Tiffy. Alexander the Great had... Uh, uh, Mrs. Alexander. Yeah, and Anthony had Cleopatra. She fixed him up. Good. Oh, you men are all alike. Stubborn mules. Dick. Huh? I made some apple turnovers today. Is that right? Yeah, a whole great big batch of them. Too many for Pop and me. Why don't you come over for dinner tonight and help us eat them up? Uh, no, uh, this is my night for school. Thanks just the same. Oh, but I made so many of them. What do I do with them? Oh, put them on ice. Oh, I'd like to put you on ice. I say. Oh, hello, Pop. I thought I told you to stay out of this garage. Well, I... I see. Hello, Mr. Wallace. You got that motor tuned up and ready to go, Chick? Mr. Bob. Any answers to those ads you put in the paper yet, Pop? No, not yet. It doesn't look as if we're going to get any. All the drivers in town seem to think there's a jinx on it. Oh, it sure is tough. 
Load's got to go out, too. I will lose our contract with those Scotiers in Fresno if it don't. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Oh, is that so? Uh -huh. You know, these truck motors are pretty tricky. The only way I'm ever going to get onto them right is to test them on the highway. No. Oh, now look here, Mr. Wallace. No. Hey, gee whiz, why not? I can drive a truck as good as anybody. Better than a lot of them I know. You gotta have drivers, don't you? This job requires experienced hands, Chick. You'll get your chance. Don't worry. I'd like to know when. As soon as all this trouble blows over, and as for that truck getting to Fresno, it'll go if I have to drive it myself. Now, let me know as soon as the job's through. Yes, sir. You make me sick. No gumption. That's what's wrong with you. Well, there's nothing wrong with me. Not much. All you had to do was stick to your guns. He was just waiting for you to insist. Oh, I did insist. Yeah, like you were scared he was going to take you up on it. What this place needs is a man, not a schoolboy. Oh. Yeah, this is it. Mr. Frankie, I don't see no truck. Maybe somebody didn't beat us to it. Well, there's one way to find out. Uh, uh, look, Mr. Frankie, I just remember something. What? I don't know how to drive no truck. That's all right. I do. Come on. Oh. Excuse me, is the boss around? Uh, he's the boss. What do you want? Well, uh, we read your ad here in the paper, you know, about the truck drivers. You're a truck driver? Well, sure, why not? <laughs> well, uh, you're a little small, aren't you? Yeah, but we're plenty strong. And believe me, mister, we could use a job. We need drivers, too, but it's tough work. Mm -mm. I'll be seeing you. Well, that's all right with us. We don't mind hard work, honest. Who said? I don't think I can use you, fellas. I'm sorry. Okay, you're the boss. Thanks. Come on, Jeff. Wait a minute. What's the matter with you? Sit down, Bunny. Here's your chance to show Pop what you can do. I don't get you. Show him you're taking an interest in the business and hire these fellas. Oh, but they're I've been sizing them up. They're all right. No, I don't know. Oh, go on. Hire them quick before Pop gets back and does it himself. Well, I... Oh, go on. Sure you can handle it? Well, absolutely. All right, you're hired. No kidding. You hear what I said. Uh, how soon can you start? Anytime you say, boss. You're on the job as of right now. Well, that's for me. Hey, is this the truck? Yep, she's all loaded and ready to roll. Come on, Jeff, let's look it over. Excuse me. I hope you know what I'm doing, Josephine. Oh, Mr. Frankie, let's don't do this. I don't feel so good. There's nothing the matter with you. You're just scared of a little hard work. Offhand, I can't think of nothing better than to be scared of. Okay, fellas, here's your way, Bill. Oh, Fresno, huh? Mm -hmm. Wholesale Grocers Limited. You all ready to go? Yeah, you bet. Okay, take her away. She's all yours. Hey, wait a minute. How about the pay? How much? A dollar an hour. Hey, what's going on here? Who are these fellas? These fellas are your new drivers, Mr. Wallace. My new driver? Who hired them? Well, I... I just did. Chick, you must be crazy. Why, he's just a kid. What do you mean, just a kid? I'm old enough. Yeah? Well, how old? Well, how old do you have to be to drive a truck? Hey, wait a minute. Who's the boss around here, anyhow? They're all right, Pop. Besides, it's too late now. They're already hired. Oh, they're already hired, eh? Hmm. Say, have you got a chauffeur's license? Well, yes, sir. Well, come on. Let's see it. Uh-huh. You sure you know what this is all about? Well, it's a cinch. I was born with a truck practically in my lap. Well, see that you keep that one out of your lap. You mean it's all right, Mr. Wallace? Yes, we'll give him a chance and see what happens, but get going. That load should have been out of here at least an hour ago. Yes, sir. Come on, Jeff, up to him. Pretty neat, huh, Jeff? Neat. <laughs> well, Mr. Frankie, this is what I call plum perfection. A buck an hour, and all we got to do is sit. <laughs> it does something. You said it. 
I just can't figure out that gentleman saying this is tough work. How come? So you'll find out after you've gone a couple of days without sleep. Oh, Mr. Frankie, it ain't no such thing of me going any amount of time without sleep. A couple of days. Mm, mm, mm. Another hour and another dollar. <laughs> my, my. That beats all. Why, this year is better than playing horse racing. Yeah, and a lot safer. Yes, sir. Hello. Saunders, this is Wallace. Now, listen, I've just sent out a new driver, and he's only a kid. Now, do me a favor just this once, will you? Call Norton and tell him to lay off. I'm afraid it's too late. Norton's boys are already on their way. It's your own fault for hiring kids in the first place. You knew that truck was headed for the junk heap. You told me to hire anybody. Now, you've got to stop this thing somehow. This is what I get for going to you for help. You said just a couple of minor accidents, a little insurance money, and I'd be in the clear. Hello. Hello. Pop. Oh, hello, dear. What's the matter, darling? Is business getting you down? Oh, I guess so, kind of. But that's no reason why you should worry your pretty head. Well, who is there to worry about you if I don't? Well, I guess there's nobody. <laughs> you said it. Now get that woe-be-gone look off your face and buck up. We've had bad breaks before and they haven't stopped us yet, have they? No. Here it is. Holy smoke, look at that baby travel. We'll have to go some to get him. Truck following us? Take a look in that mirror. Sure enough. That's funny. Wonder where he came from. I don't know. The rate we've been going, I wouldn't be surprised if we passed him and didn't know it. This is a cinch. We'll nail him on the next turn. How do you like that? He wants to race. I'm going to show him some real speed. Oh, Mr. Frankie, can we let well enough alone? If you go any faster, we'll start flying. What's the matter with flying? I'd rather see a dead duck than be one. He ain't so dumb. Look at him pull away. Yeah, and watch me pull right up alongside him. Come the cops. We're after that other truck. Boy, what a break. It is for that driver. One more minute and his trucking days would have run over. Keep quiet and let me do the talking. I'll get us out of this. The last time you did the talking, you got us in so deep we had to get dug out. Hello, officer. Well, what is it? A matter of life and death? Well, no, not exactly, you see, but I am I am in kind of a hurry. I... Uh, I'll say you are. You're only doing 70, you know. Yeah, well, I'm sure I can explain that. Let me that. see your license. Yes, sir. Now, wait a minute, officer. You don't understand. You see, I've got to be in Los Angeles by noon. This truck is loaded with perishables. If you mean yourself and your pal over there, you're right if you don't start slowing down. But I... Yeah, treat it with respect. It's worth 15 bucks. That's what I get for telling the truth. No matter what you tell him, Mr. Franco, we get paints just the same. Well, here, file it with the others. 
Six on this trip so far. One more and we're eligible for the jackpot. She's all yours, Pop. Yeah. What's left of her? Why don't you pick her up? About five miles out of Saugus, flat on her back in a ditch. You fellas are keeping us in business. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next trip. Now, do you see why I wouldn't let you take that truck out? Oh, I guess so. All right, Kick, you better look it over. See if any of that junk can be salvaged. Yes, sir, right away. Are you Mr. Wallace? That's me. I'm George Lee of Canton, in Canton, China. Well? Oh, uh, oh, I almost forgot. To, uh, I have this letter. That'll tell you who I am. Oh. Hop <laughs> Singh, eh? Good customer of mine. Yeah, do a lot of business with him out of San Francisco. Yes, sir. He's my uncle. Yeah, so I see. Oh, uh, come on inside. Thank you. So you want to learn the trucking business, eh? You bet, I sure do. You speak pretty good English for a Chinese. Well, you see, I, I'm not really from China. Huh? Uh, I'm an American. I was born and raised in San Francisco. But I always say I'm from China because, well, uh, uh, it sounds kind of important. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? Well, I'd like to oblige your uncle, Mr. Lee, but I'm afraid you've come to the wrong place to look for a job. Oh, I'm not looking for a job. No? Uh, uh, that is, I don't expect to get paid. Well, I couldn't. Uh, uh, you see, uh, uh, Uncle and I uh, thought maybe you wouldn't mind if I just sort of uh, stood around and watched how you do things. Yeah, uh, but... I wouldn't be in the way. As a matter of fact, I have a pretty good education. I might even be able to help. All right, you've got yourself a job. Oh, gee, thanks, Mr. Wallace. When do I start? Tomorrow will be soon enough. Okay, I'll be here. Johnny on the spot. Hey, how about moving that piece of junk so I can get in there and unload? Move it yourself, pal, if you're in such a hurry. Hey, I asked you to move that truck. You ain't got no right block any entrance anyhow. Take it easy, Mr. Franklin. Take it easy. I put it there because I want it there. Yeah, well, I don't like it. Who are you not to like it? Well, who do you have to be not to like it? Keep your temper now, Mr. Franklin. Keep your temper. Watch yourself. Listen, you. I'll move that when I get good and ready. That's what you think. That's what I know. And any time you think you're... Now, wait a minute, you. I can handle a mug like you every day in a week and twice on Sunday. That's all I wanted to know. That's all I wanted to know. What you need is a spanking, and I'm going to give it to you right now. Oh, yeah? Hey, hey, hey! Bring it up, you two! What's the big idea? This jitterbug here thinks he's tough enough to tell me off. I'll show you how tough I am. Matt! Why don't you pick on somebody your own size, you big moose? Well, I, I didn't hurt him. How do you know? Are you all right, Frankie? Yeah, sure, I'm all right. Hit me when I wasn't looking. All right, Matt, all right, go on. Finish your job. What are you doing back here so early? You weren't due here until tonight. Yeah, I know. Pretty good time, huh? Certainly burned up that old highway. Yes, you must have. 60 and 70 all the way. Yes, sir, that old truck rolled along just like it was on wheels. Well, what did you think it was on, Ski? Don't you know that it's against the law to drive a commercial vehicle that fast? Well, yes, sir, we know it now. I've never seen so many police in all my life. Why, the road was festered with them. Uh, look here. Traffic. Yeah, but I can explain that, you see. Six of them, eh? Yeah, I know. What did you do? Did you challenge every cop you met to a race? No, we didn't challenge them to Shut a race. Shut up! You're fired. You're the boss. I know that job was too good to last. But look, you don't understand. This truck is loaded with perishables. The man said he'd give the company a bonus if I got it here before noon. A bonus? Yeah, that's right. You can pay for the fines out of what we got coming. Come on, Jeff. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There won't be anything coming out of your salary. Come on, let's get this truck unloaded. Okay, boss. You're okay, Frankie. With half a chance, you could have licked that big bozo. Oh, gee, you really think so? Sure. He's a cinch for fellas like you. Yeah, I... Uh, I got some work to do. Excuse me. Now, why can't you be like that? Be like what? Like Frankie. He's got what it takes. Yeah, he can sure take it.
Hello, boys. Hello, boss. How are you, Norton? How are you getting along with those new drivers, the Wallaces? Not so good. Yeah, some of the cops got in the way. Well, it doesn't matter. I think you've been doing pretty good. Seen the morning paper? Yeah, we've seen them. Seven Overland transports out of business in a month. Nice work. That's what you hired us for. Uh-huh. Do we get an extra bonus for knocking off the drivers, too? Well, I'm sorry about that. So are we. Some of those truckers were pretty regular. Well, business is business. They knew what they were up against. It's part of the game. I suppose. Not to me, it ain't. I've had about all I can take. I'm quitting. We're both quitting. Listen, you try walking out on me now, and I'll send you up for murder so fast your heads will swim. Well, it looks like we're not quitting after all, Marty. Okay. What's the job? I want you to stop those new drivers of Wallace's. Take it easy, Norton. They're only kids. And they've got no business driving a truck. Oh, Mr. Francis, does we have to do this? Certainly, now, come on. But sneaking in here with nobody around, ain't that liable? What do you mean, liable? Liable to get us in trouble. Oh, there you go, Jeff. You're always looking on the dark side of everything. You would, too, if you live beyond the pale as much as I have. Come on, get in. No, no, Mr. Frank, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. I rebel. Fine talk. Look, you don't expect me to do all the work, do you? No, but it ain't a bad idea. Come on and get in that truck. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Frank. Can we talk this thing over? Look, Jeff. For the last time, there's nothing to talk over. You're going to learn to drive that truck, and that's that. Now go on and get in there. Get in. Go do it. Now what'll I do? Well, first of all, get a good firm grip on the wheel. That's it. You got it? Yeah, I got it, but I don't know what to do with it. Well, now look. That's your clutch over there. See, this is your starter, and there's your accelerator. This is your gear shift here. See? Now when you want to start out, push your clutch. Pull your gear shift back into low. Give her a little gas. Let your clutch out. That's it. Now you're going fine. Now, now, shift into second. Now, back into high. That's it. Well, you ought to understand. You've seen me do it enough. Now, look. Let's pretend that we're in heavy traffic, uh, doing 45 miles an hour. Oh, Mr. Frankie, why don't we pretend that I done took this lesson and forget about it? Well, Jeff, what are you worrying about? It's easy. It ain't no such word as easy with me. Oh, now, now, look. The road's pretty straight here, so just hold your wheel steady. That's it. Now, that's not so tough, is it? Is this all it is to it? That's all. <laughs> well, I do declare. Sure it's pretty country. Never mind the country. You keep your eyes on the road. Watch it, Jeff. You're coming to a turn up here. Turn your wheel. Turn it. Make your turn. All right, now back. Straight. Straighten up. That's it. Jeff, look out for the car! Good gracious, that was a close shave. Now, that's a woman driver for you. Watch it. Watch it. Coming to another turn. That's it. Well, that does it. What? A flat tire. I'll see you. Come here. You're not through yet. Flat tire. Go on and drive. Well, can I help it if my imagination run away with me? All right, now, look. Watch out. The road's pretty tricky here. Look, I'm a good driver, huh? You know, we'll see how good you are. I want to see how you'd react to an emergency. Now, look, Ken. You got your truck in low gear. Low gear. You're going down a long, steep grade. A long, steep grade. That's right. All right, now look. All of a sudden, you, you start gaining speed. You're going 45. Now you're going 50. 55. 60. 65. 70. 75. Boy, am I fast. Watch it, Jeff. Jeff, you're in trouble. You, your hmm? clutch is slipping. You? Yes, where? Not you. Not you. The truck. Oh. Now go on. 75. We're rolling along. We're... We're getting out of control. The truck is zigzagging back and forth, back and forth. We almost turn over, Jeff. We're going faster, faster. Jeff, Jeff, we're going to crash. There's only one thing to do, Jeff. What is it? Jump. Let me out of here. Let me out. Well, sir, well, what do you know about that? A pedestrian. I, I, I just happen to be passing by. Yeah, uh, us too. You see, we... Uh, well, uh, you understand. I mean... Uh, oh, oh, sure. I... I remember something I wanted to tell you, and, uh, well, I, uh, do you mind if I talk to Jeff alone? 
No, no, I guess not. Go ahead. Oh, but Mr. Frank, you... Oh, come on, Jeff, come on. Jeff, can you keep a secret? A secret? About you sneaking up on me and Mr. Frank in the dark? Of course not. By the way, what were you doing there? Don't you know? Me neither. Wait, I want to tell you something. About the secret? That's right. I tell Frankie, but I don't know how to go about it. I'm a saint, huh? Look, I don't think Frankie knows this, but Miss Wallace, Patsy, I think she's using Frankie to make Kit jealous. You don't say it. I'm just passing it along to you for what it's worth. Is that so? Well, I ain't got for the dime. Patsy. Oh, hello. How you doing, Frankie? Oh, fine, fine. But say, what do they got in these things? Bricks? <laughs> Next thing to it. Canned goods. Oh, that's a good thing I got a strong back. Yeah. You'd think some people would try to help some people once in a while, wouldn't you? Here, I'll give you a hand. Oh, Frankie. don't bother. I'll help you, Frankie. Oh, thanks, Patsy. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. doing in there? What's the big idea? One of the boards came loose on a packing case. Hey, you really believe in learning the business from the inside out, don't you? Yeah. Well, listen, after this, leave the boards alone. That's my job. Sure, okay. Hey, that's some outfit you got there. Yeah, I thought so. How do I look? Look like you just came out of a mail order catalog. Gosh, no kidding? Uh, maybe they'll be all right after they get dirty. Yeah, maybe. Say, I can fix that. Look, you get this crate loaded while I look for Jeff. You betcha. Yes, I'm a little out of shape. That's all right. You just stick with it, George. Hey, Jeff. Oh, Jeff! Come in. What's the matter with you? Come in. I just made an important discovery. Yeah, what? Why, Mr. Franklin, this place is sitting on a gold mine. Gold mine? Yes, sir. Mr. Franklin, this is oil property. Oil? Ah, oh, you're crazy. No, I ain't, Mr. Franklin. I've seen it with my own eyes, seeping out of the ground. Oil? Yeah? Where? You won't tell nobody. No. Right back of this garage. It's all over the place. It's coming out in puddles. Why, you nitwit, that's crankcase oil. Well, ain't that no good? No, of course not. Well, can I help it if I was a speculator? About ready to pull out on Millie? Yeah, sure. All I have to do is step on the gas. You better get a move on. Mr. Wallace says it's a rush order. Right. Frankie. Yes. You will be careful, won't you? Oh, sure. You know me. Oh, hurry back. We'll be waiting for you. Oh, boy, that's good enough for me. I'll be back before you know it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. Hurry back. You know, he's all right, that Frankie. Yeah? Well, I hope he stays that way. You going to have any further use for me today, Mr. Wallace? Uh, mm, no, no, I don't suppose so. Well, uh, do you mind if I take the rest of the day off? I, I've got some things to attend to. Well, go ahead, go ahead. I guess we can make out without you, George. Gosh, I hope so. Well, see you later. <laughs> uh, it sure was some dinner. I ate too much. I should never let you talk me into eating that last turnover. Glad you came. You know, I was looking over that wreck that came out of the garage today. <clears throat> I think I can salvage most of the money. Can't you ever talk about anything else? What else is there to talk about? Oh, I bet Frankie could think of something. 
You sure like to rub that Frankie in my hair, don't you? Well, if you had half the get-up he's got in his little finger, well, you might amount to something someday. Oh, well, like him, I suppose. Sure, he's going places. But you... If I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times. I know. All you want to be is a good mechanic. But sure. What's wrong with that? Oh, you wouldn't understand. No backbone, that's your trouble. To get ahead in this world, you've got to be aggressive. You've got to fight for what you want. Now, that Frankie, there is a man. Oh, I don't know. Well, he knows what he wants and gets it. And he doesn't take anything from anybody. All right, all right. So what do you want me to do? Challenge Joe Lewis? No, all I want you to do is to be a man. Don't have to press desires. Do what you want to do, not what somebody tells you. No suppressed desires, huh? Just do what I want to do. Yeah, that's right. Say, Jeff, you know, I think that Patsy kind of goes for me. Is that so? Yeah, sure, I can tell. All women are alike. They fall for a fella and bluey, written all over their face. I'd like to see a carbon copy of that on the face of a Satan copy drop I nose on Central Avenue. <laughs> well, looks like I've gone and done it again. Mr. Frankie, you sure is a lady killer. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. No? Well, no, I'll admit I have a way with them, but... Uh... Uh, Mr. Frank, I thought you was a woman hater. Who, me? Well, well no. Uh, well, you see, this is different. I mean, after all, Jeff, well, she is the boss's daughter, and... Oh, that is different. For sure. Here they come. I got no stomach for this setup. You and me both. Someday I'll get Norton for this. He's pulling away. He won't get far. What do you want? The whole road? Man, with that bird, he drives like he's crazy. Dirty vultures. So that's their gag, huh? All right, I can play that way too. Mr. Frankie, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Say, that kid's okay. He handles that wheel like a veteran. He'll be a real veteran when I get through with him. Mr. Frank, don't do nothing that we'll regret. What's the matter with you, you big palooka? Don't you know how to drive a truck? Take it easy, buddy. You'll have to get hurt. Ah, keep your jukes off them. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute, mister. Don't hit me. I'm for appeasement.
Mr. Saunders. Oh, hi, Patsy. Hello, Chick. Good to see you. Thanks. Aren't you making your rounds rather late? <laughs> we were just leaving. Anything wrong? I'm afraid so. Another one? Wrecked. The other side of Delano. Delano? Why, that's the truck Frankie and Jeff were driving. Is that so? It was. They were in it. Oh, Pops. How are they? What happened to them? I don't know. They've gone. Disappeared. Oh, then they must be all right. They probably went for help. I hope so, but I doubt it. We'd have heard from them by now. How come you know about this so soon, Mr. Saunders? Why, it's my business to know these things, Chick. Since these accidents began happening with such uh, frequency, our agents have kept pretty close tab on all your trucks. Oh, I see. I won't stand it. It was bad enough before, but when they start murdering kids... I wouldn't say that. I would. I know that gang, and there's nothing that they won't do, and it isn't worth it. And I'm getting out of this business right now, and for good. Of course, that's up to you. Well, I've got to be going. Oh, and Wallace. I know you're pretty hard hit, but think it over. Don't act too quickly. I wouldn't want you to do anything you might regret, if only for Patsy's sake. Yeah, I remember. Good night. Thanks. You all got back quick this trip. Yeah. Got some playmates for you, Hamshanks. For me? Who's that? Stick around. What's he talking about? This ain't no place for no playmates. It's gonna have to be for a while. Well, does the boss know about this? You know he ain't partial to me having no pet. What is it, Wildcat? You said it. All right, quit shoving. I'm going. Here they are, Hamshanks. What do you think of them? Well, this one's kind of light, ain't it? Turn me up, swivel jaw. Now, look here. Don't you say nothing, bubble eyes. I'm the boss around here. Treat them nice, Hamshanks. They were our guests. Is the boss in? Yes, sir. He's in the office. Well, uh, take care of them until we get back. It'll be a pleasure. Let's go, Dink. Come on. You all follow me. Where are we going? Uh, to the guest's room. Come on. Come on. Guest room, huh? It ain't the Imperial Suite. Well, that's the best you get in this hotel. Sit down. We've got some waiting to do. Well, that's important. We don't want to sit down. Then you better do some fresh supposing. Like I told you before. I was the boss here. Sit down. Yes, the boss. Now, that's more like it. Hey, what are they going to do with us, anyhow? Yeah, what about this? Well, that'll take a little calculating. But I'll let y'all know. Ain't that a gun? That ain't your Aunt Emma. You don't know my Aunt Emma. Well, we got a little surprise for you, Norton. Surprise? Yeah, something we know you're going to appreciate real well. Well, that's very nice of you boys. Uh-huh. You know them two kids that was driving the truck? Yeah. We brought them back with us. You brought them here? Yeah, Hamshank's entertaining them. Well, that's very funny, boys. But don't give it another thought. I'll figure out some way to get rid of them. Ain't you scared that thing will go off? What if it do? It ain't pointing at me. It would be if you were sitting where I am. Which I ain't. Hey, how long are they going to keep us in this rat hole anyhow? Till the boss man say otherwise. And who's the boss man? Mister, you's asking dangerous questions. We just can't sit around here doing nothing. Well, I ain't complaining. Look, how about it? Do you mind if I read? Read what? This ain't no library, you know. Well, what about those newspapers over there? Well, if you don't mind reading stale news, I reckon that'll be all right. Well, if there's any funnies around there, Mr. Frankie, see if you can scare up Superman. I bet he can figure a way for us to get out of this. No, you don't. No, no. Sit right where he is. I'll get it. Suit yourself. Look out! Oh. 
Well, well, well. Now, just take it easy, pal. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Frankie, you sure is a genius. Never mind that. Get these ropes off. Superman ain't got nothing on you. You lose? Look, you get me? Did you lose, Mr. Frankie? Good gracious me. Here, Jeff. Tie him up. You take the idea right out of my mind. Now who's the boy sourpuss? You is. Say that with more emphasis. You is. Now that's more like it. All right, come on, Jeff. Let's get out of here. Hey, you ain't thinking to drive this thing out of here. What do you think? But the door's closed. Well, it won't be long. Uh-oh, here we go again. The kids, they got away with the truck. Well, grab that car and go after them. Yes, this is Saunders. Say, it's after midnight, and I haven't heard a thing from those two drivers. What do you know about it? I don't know any more than I did when I talked to you earlier this evening. They probably stopped overnight somewhere. Let's not beat about the bush, Saunders. Those two boys wouldn't leave that truck without a good reason. Now you find out something about it. If they're not back in an hour, I'm going to the police. You're talking pretty big for a man who's in this thing as deep as you are. I'm sick of the whole business, and I have been ever since you forced me into it. Now you get those drivers back here. What do you want? I heard what you were saying. What about it? Oh, it's nothing I haven't known for quite some time. You mean to say you've known about this? Sure. Why do you think I'm here? Special investigator for the Olympic Insurance Company. One of Saunders' men, eh? No, he doesn't know anything about me. I'm working for the company. You know, we've been suspicious of your setup for some time, but we couldn't imagine a man of your reputation being involved in any scheme to defraud the insurance company. I'm not doing this because I want to. Then you'll be glad to help us. Any way I can. Maybe you'll tell me who you were talking to on the phone just now. No, I can't do that. Why not? I've given them an hour to send those drivers back here unharmed. That's more important. What if they don't come back? Then I'll go to the police with everything. Right. See you in an hour. Mr. Frankie, you ain't gonna hide this thing in here, is you? Certainly, this is the last place in the world they'd look for it. But Mr. Frankie! Now listen, don't argue with me. Come on, help me get this cargo unloaded. What for? So we can get rid of this truck. All right. Unhook the tire. Sure. Now hold this like it down. Sure. Mr. Franklin, look. Bricks. And I thought we were hauling canned goods. Yeah, so did I. People don't go around knocking off trucks just for a load of bricks. Something fishy about this. We're going to find out what it is. Mr. Frankie, I don't like this. You ain't supposed to like it. Hey, it's open. Is that a good sign? I don't know.
Mr. Wallet. Is he dead? No, but he's in bad shape. We gotta call an ambulance right away. My goodness. Miss Patsy and Mr. Chick is gonna feel powerful bad when they hear about this. Yeah, they sure will. We better let them know right now. Now, the way I see it, this tri-state has got something on Mr. Wallace. So they make him string along in this truck war so they can collect the insurance. Well, it sure looks that way. Well, certainly. So Pop got fed up with the whole thing and threatened to blow the lid off him. Well, they let him have it. Uh, excuse me for thinking, but this appears to me to be a matter strictly for the police. Don't be silly. With Patsy's dad in this up to his neck, why, if we call in the cops, they're liable to send him up for life. We gotta figure out a way to help him. How's Mr. Wallace? Oh, he's pretty good. It was only a slight concussion, but it could have been a lot worse. Say, where's George? Well, he left the hospital just before I did. Said he had something to attend to. Well, uh, he told you about everything. Yes, and it sure makes my blood boil, pulling a trick like that on Pop. I still said this is a matter for... Shut up and sit down. We can't call the police in. Not until we clear Pop, anyhow. What I can't figure out is how we're going to do it without any help. How about Mr. Saunders? He's got agents. Well, sure. Why didn't I think of that before? Yeah, and I think I know how we can do it. What we want to do is catch Tri-State with that evidence. That's the cargo of bricks. That's right. In their truck and in their garage. Now, look. You get a hold of Mr. Saunders and his agents, and you walk in, and Bluey, we've got them. Who's going to put the evidence in the garage? You and me. I knew I should have known better than to ask that question. I'll be seeing you. Sit down. Now, look. You two go and get Mr. Saunders and his agents. Have you got it? Sure. You bet. All right, now we haven't got much time, so step on it. Let's go. It's an awful hour to get a man out of bed, Patsy. Oh, it can't be helped. This is important. Who is it? We have to talk to you, Mr. Saunders. Oh, it's you, Patsy. It's terribly important. But it's so late. I know we shouldn't disturb you at this late hour, but we just had to see you. Had to see me? Well, wouldn't tomorrow... Oh, I'm afraid this couldn't keep till tomorrow, Mr. Saunders. We found out who's been wrecking our truck. You... what? How? Who? Who is it? The Tri-State Truck Line. Tri-State? Yep, and we sure got the goods on them. You've got... Wait a minute. I don't understand. You've got the goods on Tri-State? Have we? I'll say we have. You mean you've got proof that they've been wrecking your trucks? Sure. And they've got Pop's insurance policy. Stolen from him tonight. And a couple of our drivers are on their way over there now with a tri-state truck loaded with a dummy cargo that they were going to try and collect on. Uh, this, this is terrible. Well, if we're going to catch them, we'll have to act quickly. Well, uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, send a couple of your agents over there right away so we can catch them red-handed. I, I don't think we'd better do that uh, just yet. No? No, I know a better way. We can handle this alone. Alone? You just leave everything to me. I know exactly what to do. All right, if you say so, Mr. Saunders. Fine. Now you two wait right here while I get dressed. I won't be a minute. You sure you got everything straight? Sure enough. Okay. Is that you? Hello there, Swivel Joe. What you doing up there? Who told you to bring that truck back in here? Well, I just happened to be through with it, that's all. Yeah? Well, that ain't all you're going to happen to be through with. Now, wait a minute now, Swivel John. Don't work yourself in no ladder, particularly when I made a special trip to see you. Oh, uh, I ain't that good at making no impressions on folks that make no special trips to see me. Now, that's why you're wrong. You made such an impression on me, I brung you a present. Yeah? Mm hmm Where is it? In the back of the truck. In the back of the truck? Mm -hmm. Is it that big? Why, you ain't got no idea. But look here, did you ever go to a circus and see an elephant? You don't mean to tell me you done bought me an elephant? Something just as big. Yeah. Come on, I want to show it to you. Come on with me. It's right back here. Come on. Yeah. Come on, get in. Uh, does it got it? 
Can it come out here? Oh, man, come on and get in. But how come it can't come out here? The light hurts its eyes. Oh. Yeah, come on, get in. You, you gonna like this. This is the truck, all right. Yeah, they must have brought it in and run... Where's Hamshanks? You two stay here. I'll take care of this. It's all too late, Saunders. They got away. Never mind that now. The main thing is to get rid of that cargo as quick as possible. Saunders. Ain't that Chick Daly and Wallace's kid? Yeah. Bring him over here. All right, you two, pile out. Hey, what is this? Come on, come on, get out of there. You too, sister. Don't you lay a hand on me, you big bad boy. Oh, you tell us, Nancy. It goes for you too. Leave boy. me alone. Where was Mr. Saunders? Not anymore, palsy. Oh. Come on. Yeah. What is this, a tiger? Put him in the truck. So you're the one. And all the time. Keep your hands off. Get them in there quick before they tear the place down. They can't treat Patsy like that. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Frank. They'll get us, too. Hey, let me get out of here. Let me out of here, Alice. Yes. Let me out of here. What's the matter with you? Yes, they ain't gonna call me up in there. Who's in there? You'll have to see for yourself, boss. I'm getting out of here before that razor starts shaving. It's those two that got away. Well, that's fine. Put these right in with them. Oh, you good. Right. M. Shanks. M. Shanks. Yeah, I is. Come here. Get in there and see they don't cause any trouble. What? With them maniacs? Yeah. Take this. Oh, well, now, that's different. I'll make old Bubble Eyes eat that razor. Okay. Where do you want us to take them? No place. Huh? I said I'd figure out a way to get rid of them, and I meant it. Wait a minute, Norton. We can't. If we do this thing ourselves, we'll know the job is done right. What do you want us to do? Just stay here and play dead. It's okay with me. Sit down. Where are they taking us, do you know? What do you care? You ain't coming back. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. Well, gee, Patsy, I'm sorry about this. It was all my idea. Oh, don't be silly. This isn't anybody's idea, is it, Chick? No, no, of course not, Frankie. See, nobody's to blame. Well, then who is? No, you don't. You just sit quiet, mister. This time, I ain't taking no chances with you. Aren't you cutting it pretty thick, Norton? The sooner we get this thing over with, the better. this might happen. We'll have to go some to stop us. Pick your foot off that throttle, you fool. Slow down. I'll talk to them.
What's the matter? 45 mile an hour not fast enough for you boys? Well, you see, uh, it's like this, officer. We're carrying medical supplies for the war relief ship, leaving for China in the morning. We clocked you at 60. You're lucky we stopped you before they have to use those supplies on you. I know. We were traveling a little faster than we had a right. But you see, we're quite late, and the boat sails at 9 in the morning. Supplies for a mercy ship, huh? Well, in a case like that, I suppose we can let it go this time. Well, thank you, officer. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's very nice of you. But you better hold her down to 45 from now on. You can make it. I certainly will. That's the truck. Come on. All right, come on. I'm certainly glad to see you. I've just found the evidence that will clear Wallace and save us. I've already told them all about Wallace. You and your pal are the only ones who have anything to worry about. Help, please! Yeah, good gracious me! Policeman, come ask somebody! Frankie. Oh, thanks, George. You got here just in time. Well, we did it. We're all safe. What do you mean, all safe? If it hadn't been for you, you little war chick wouldn't have got knocked out. Mr. Frankie, you sure is a lady killer. 